I'm outside standing pretty close to a bald-faced hornet nest. It's on the side of my house right underneath the chimney for my wood burner. I usually leave these things uh, stay up because they're pretty beneficial. They eat a lot of caterpillars and kill some insects that are bad for my fruit trees and gardens and berry bushes. But you really got to watch them. Um, my, my general rule of thumb is, is, is that if it's in a place where it's kind of out of the way and somebody's not likely to accidentally bump into it, then I leave it stay. But you don't want to bump into one of these things because these, uh, these hornets are aggressive. They can sting you multiple times. And if you disturb the nest, that whole nest is going to come out at you. And there's, there's between 100 and 400 workers in a nest like this that will all defend the nest pretty much. And this one at this size here in Pennsylvania, probably be about 300 workers in this nest. Uh, so you, you really have to watch them, but like I always leave the wasps and hornets stay if, uh, if they're out of the way because they really do help the garden. Uh, this one is, is pretty large. It's about 12 inches across and about 18 inches long. Keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to let this one go, obviously. I don't want to mess with it now. If you were daring, you could take some insecticide and sneak up Then You have to spray it inside the hole or else it doesn't kill them. You can't spray it up the nest. I never use any insecticides or anything on them. The, the times that I've gotten rid of them, all I do is I go out at night and I get a bunch of buckets of water ready and I just soak the entire, I just keep throwing buckets of water at them. I've never gotten stung once doing it. Uh, and it just soaks it and it falls down and then I just let them buzz around for a while the ones that are left and hopefully they uh, They will they'll start their a colony somewhere else. I just got buzzed in the head by one one just hit my hat I'm wearing a hat out here um, And one just hit the hat so they're not real happy about me being here but uh, I Don't think they're gonna bother me So they are very beneficial, and I have noticed a difference. I used to knock down all the, the wasps and things, uh, just because that's what everybody always did when I was growing up. But then I read a little bit about them and found that they're pretty beneficial. And so I started leaving them if they weren't like right by the door or something. Boy, these guys keep coming real close. They're checking me out. I hope I'm not going to get stung here. I don't think they'll all come after me. Well, I really hope they won't all come after me. But uh, I'm going to probably end this pretty soon here because they're getting kind of close to me. Um, but anyway, they are beneficial. They they say that they'll they'll clear one to two pounds of caterpillars out of your garden if it's nearby, um, and that's a lot of caterpillar. So. I'd say they're worth keeping, but if you were allergic to bees or something, I guess you probably would want to get rid of them. Not you yourself, but somebody else. So I'm just going to let this go here a little bit, focusing in on the hole. Hopefully you'll be able to see them coming in and out. I've got kind of a bad glare here when I'm videoing this, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. So again, these are bald-faced hornets. I've always called them white-faced hornets. They're pretty big. They're pretty aggressive. But they eat a lot of insects, especially caterpillars. Oop, one, just, one just hit me in the face. So, and I, I instinctively swatted at it, which was not wise. So I think I'm going to end this real quickly here because I haven't gotten stung, but they are buzzing me and not happy with me standing here. I'm going to try to zoom in on that 
opening there a little bit. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna be stupid and just stand here a little bit longer. Hopefully this won't turn into an epic fail video. I hope that this one turns out all right because I really don't want to do this again. They are pretty neat and uh, they're beneficial. I've been picking uh, red raspberries and uh, they'll come in the patch when you're picking sometimes and I've never once gotten stung by one so I know if I walked up there and, and got too close to that nest they'd get me. I think that's the real danger is if you uh, unexpectedly come upon the nest uh, then, then you're going to have some problems but individually I think they're not going to bother you much well, they're buzzing me again pretty good so I think I'm going to end this talk to you later